step, we are going to divide 378 divided by 6. Now remember, division, one meaning of division is repeated subtraction. So in division, you're really just trying to find out how many times can I repeatedly subtract 6 from 378? Or how many times can I repeatedly take 6 out of 378 until I can't take any more 6s out of there? The first thing we're going to do with the partial quotient method is we're going to do a brain dump. We're going to put on our board everything we know about this number six. Let me ask you this. What operation is the opposite of division? What about subtraction? Not subtraction. Oh. Subtraction is very similar because division is repeated subtraction. What operation is the opposite? Try it again. Multiplication. So to help me figure out what I can do here for division, I'm going to start by thinking about what I know about multiplication. Because we tend to have an easier time thinking about multiplication than division. So let's start with this. What do we know about 6? What is 6 times 1, everyone? 6. What is 6 times 2, everyone? 12. What is 6 times 3, everyone? 18. You are too fast for me. I'm a little slow. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. What is 6 times 4? 24. Oh, let's do one more. What's 6 times 5? 30. 30. All right, let's use those to help us figure out some other facts. If I know 6 times 1, I can figure out 6 times 10. 16. If I know 6 times 2, I can figure out 6 times 20. If I know 6 times 3, I can figure out 6 times 30. 180. If I know 6 times 4, I know 6 times 40. 40. <coughs> You are all good, thank you. And if I know six times five, it helps me figure out six times. Nice. You know what? You want to do one more fact? What is six times six? Thirty-six. If I know six times six, it helps me know six times sixteen. Why do you think I just decided right there to do one more fact? Raise your hand if you know. What's it, what was I looking at? What was I thinking about that made me say, hmm, let me go a little further? Yes, ma'am? Say it nice and loud. Because there's 300, but you can go higher than 300. And what was I trying to get pretty close to? 378. Yes, yeah, so I was trying to see, can I get just a little bit closer? Can I find another fact that's going to help me get here pretty fast? So do you think we've dumped enough on our board to help us get started with this problem? Yes. yes. All right, let's start. How many times do I definitely know I can take 6 out of 378? Yes, Danielle. I can definitely take it out 60 times, all right? Because 60 sixes is how much? 360. 66 is how much? 360. 360. Okay, so if I did that, Wow, I got there really fast. I still have a little bit left from my number, so I need to take out a couple more sixes. What can I do now, Emily? Six times four. Six times four, let's check it. Six times four is 24. Should oh. we go all the way there, or should we go no, one down? Six times three. Okay, so six times three, that will definitely help us. So I'm going to take three sixes out of this number, and what is three sixes? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, do I have anything left over? No. So now let's look. I took six out sixty times. I took six out another three times. So how many times did I repeatedly subtract, or how many times did I divide six? Sixty-three. Okay, so I repeatedly subtracted six from three hundred sixty-eight. 63 times, and that is 378 divided by 6 is 63. 